Ready to go trucking, Weasel? Weasel, you ready to have a good day? You better be ready, because that's the only option we have. We're going to America, twice. It's gonna be a bit of a long day, so uh, we're gonna, uh, we're gonna try to, we're no, we're not gonna try, we're going to work quickly and we're not going to drag our feet. When you say you're trying to do something, that's leaving the option of failure open. And you never leave the option of failure open. You, you never leave that open for yourself. And I'm in no way saying that I'm perfect or that I've got this down to a T because I fall short sometimes. I have bad days sometimes. I mess up sometimes. The point is, don't dwell on those moments. Don't let those moments ruin your day. Don't let those moments run your life. I'm not perfect at all. Like I, I'm not even close. But I'm going to do better today than I did yesterday. I'm going to do better. This year is going to be better than last year. And next year is going to be better than this year. Things are going to get better. I've said it before. It's, it's amazing what your words can do. We are trucking. Trucking weasel. I might make you drive for the second trip, Diesel. I might want to take a nap. Just a heads up. So we rushed to get everything uh, set up. We have a flat, uh, no, not a flat, we have a step deck behind us or a drop deck. We're pulling this down at Thief River Falls. We're going to leave it there. We're going to grab a loaded trailer, tie it down, bring it back here, and then do that one more time. You can barely fit two trips into one day on your e-log. So we don't have a lot of time to waste, and we don't have a lot of time for things to go wrong. So nothing's going to go wrong today. Right, Diesel? America. Look at it. Isn't she all green and beautiful? Look at her. That's America. They let us in again. We promised to be on our best behavior and to be very, very good boys. Right, Diesel? Whoa! Hey! Whoa! Those are some bucks. Do you see that, Diesel? Do you see that? Holy smokes, man! Oh, you were some weird looking dogs. And one of them had horns, you see? I saw two of them did. Two of them did, Diesel. Yikes. Welcome to America. Watch out for the crazy dogs with the horns. Hey, Diesel. They're called deer, man. The deers. I learned this in school. I thought you called them dogs. Now we tested you. Those were American deer. Different from the Canadian deer. <laughs> well, at least we're awake now. I'm awake. That's that's what they do, you know, you cross into the US early in the morning and they send their deer out onto the road just to test you. Make sure you're awake and alert for driving on their highways. We passed the test. Two of those were bucks though. You see that, the ones that went to the left? They were two bucks. So if any of you, uh, when deer season comes around, they're just saying, I'm not, I'm not gonna give away their location, but you know where I am. That made no sense, man. They, they, you gave the location. Diesel, quiet. Doesn't have to make sense. It's my video. You see, Diesel? It's a good thing we said it's gonna be a good day this morning, right? Good thing we said that, it was gonna be a good day. If we wouldn't have said that, we probably would have hit the deer. And that would have been a bad day. Would have ruined my day. Definitely would have ruined that deer's day. And everybody counting on me to get these two loads done today would have ruined their day too. A little bunch of bad days then. I mean, the deer would probably have the worst day of all. So it's a good thing that we said it's gonna be a good day today. You see what I mean? It's gonna be a good day today. All right, Thief River Falls, we need to have a chat. What? 
is this. This, I noticed on Monday. Before Monday, the last time I was here, this roundabout was not here. What have you done? Who told you this was a good idea? Have you been talking to Wisconsin? I told you not to talk to them. I told you not to take advice from Wisconsin. Wisconsin's going roundabout crazy. Putting roundabouts everywhere. They're putting roundabouts on the roundabouts. I know they're your neighbors. <laughs> but seriously, these roundabouts are becoming more, uh, more and more common in the U.S. I'm finding when I do come and visit. They're actually becoming pretty common in Canada as well. I do have a confession to make right now. Steinbeck has also fallen to the roundabout curse. They've been installing roundabouts in our new neighborhoods that they're building. And I don't know what to say. I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. I get it. I get it. They're better. You save fuel. You save time. Doesn't mean I have to like them. I don't care if they're better. I don't like them. You know, that's what separated us from the Europeans. We had stoplights and stop signs. The British and the Europeans had the little circle thingies. That's what made us better. You might say, maybe you disagree. That's what made us different. I don't know if better, but... Why are we copying? I thought we left Europe. We're gonna create a new Europe, a new, better country. Now we're just doing the same things as Europe. Oh well. Oh well, you guys know how I feel about the roundabouts and Thief River Falls. I feel the same way as I do about my own hometown. I'm not mad, I'm just disappointed. I mean, I hate to say it, but it's true. By us going all roundabout crazy, we're all we're doing is you know, plagiarizing Europe. You know, we're copying their homework. Okay, we're doing two of these today. And I'm in an unofficial race with the other drivers who are also doing two. We have a couple of these here to pick up. And I want to be the fastest. I want to be first, so no wasting time. First strap is thrown over already. Let's throw the next one over right here. Pretty good arm to get it over this. Give it a twist. That way it doesn't uh, flap on you down the highway. Now you've got to be careful with these crates. They're wooden and they crumple. You can't tighten them too tight. And you have to put your straps near one of the uh, joists, I would call them, that go across. Either right on the end, right close to the end, on the inside of that little bump up there, or like this one, I had to do it a little further in. There's also one there and one there. Don't tighten it to the point where you break the crate. Then you got big problems, then you you just got big problems. Usually what you want to do is have your straps right on the edge here and right on the edge there. Right up, right up close to that there. Right up close to that there. That'll be the strongest point. And don't reef on it. Don't put your full body weight at all onto it. You want it to be just tight enough, but not too tight. You're just going to have to figure out where that point is. <laughs> okay, just be careful if you ever have to tie down crates like this. So I'm going to quickly... Like I said, I'm in an unofficial race that the other drivers don't know about, and I want to beat them. So I've got to hurry here, okay? I'm going to quickly do the rest of these, and I'll see you once we're rolling. So I don't know how this happened. The other guy I'm sort of in an unofficial race with, he doesn't know we're racing. 
but uh, I didn't want to tell him, otherwise he'd hurry up. Uh, we call him Tiny, uh, and he's the guy that does this route the most. This is sort of like his official route. He does this all the time, and I wanted to beat him. I wanted to be faster than him. And I got here before him in the morning. I was so proud of myself. I'm like, yeah, we're gonna beat him. And then uh, I started tying down my load and he pulled in, hooked onto his trailer. And he started tying down after I'd already pretty much finished tying down. I, I didn't waste any time. Okay, I went to the bathroom. I went and got my paperwork. I came to my truck. He's gone. He's already gone. How is he so fast? And here I am wasting more time that I could be using to catch up to him, telling you about it. Obviously he does this pretty much every day and he has a good routine that works for him. I just thought my routine was faster and better, but apparently his experience is, uh, <laughs> he's fast. He's already gone, he's out of here. And my, my truck's limited at 60 mile an hour, or 100 kilometers an hour. So I'm not gonna be able to catch him unless if he stops. So our only hope right now is that he stops for a coffee or bathroom break. And we don't stop and we fly past him. That's the only way I'm gonna beat him now. So it's a race, but he doesn't know we're racing. I didn't want to tip him off. Otherwise he'd for sure beat. Me. But we can't speed, so it's a speed limit race. How did he get out of here so fast? I pulled in here before him. I mean, he was right behind me. But I got here first. He must have, like, he went a different way into the yard than I did. He must have gone and gotten his paperwork first, and then went to get his trailer. I went to go get my trailer, then go get my paperwork. I'm so confused. How was he gone already? We still have pulled diesel, we still have pulled, he's got to stop and go to the bathroom sooner or later. And I just went here, so... We might still beat him. Fingers crossed. He's the guy, uh, you've seen his truck before, he drives a day cab, but it's very nice. It's nice and shiny and uh, all polished up. I wish my truck looked that nice, but he's got the, the nice day cab. And there he is and he's empty already! How did he beat me? Okay, his truck obviously goes 105, mine only goes 100. But how did he get here so... I didn't stop for anything. Alright man, you win this one. That's incredible. Alright Diesel, it's the halftime show. We're done, get this up there. We have an empty step behind us, first load is complete. We're in the back corner of the yard here right now. I'm gonna let Diesel run around back here a little bit. Come on, buddy. I'm sure you gotta go. Careful. There you go. He never uses all the steps. All right, buddy. Do your thing. Stretch them legs, burn some energy, drain the main vein, whatever else you gotta do. There you go. So the next load we got is coming from the same place. Uh, except it can't cross at the same place coming back to Canada. Uh, for some reason, the next load has to cross at Emerson Pembina. Emerson Pembina was almost an hour further around. Oh, a half hour further, hour, whatever, 30 to 60 minutes further, depending, I guess. So this next one's gonna take a little bit longer, but uh, we got one left. And then we can go home. It'll be a bit of a longer day today, but that's okay. I wouldn't mind doing this for a couple of days. Or every day. I mean, it's a nice route back and forth, mostly just highway. I can take the weasel with me because I'm in the truck all day. The only reason I won't take him with every day is because some days I won't be in the truck all day. I don't want to leave him in there by himself, just hanging out. I mean, he'd probably just go to sleep. He'd just lay down and sleep. Wouldn't be a big deal, but nah, some days we'll leave him at home to play with his brothers. And I think Britt also misses him at home, so I gotta share him. We're a family now, buddy. It's not just me and you. Now you got a mom, you got brothers. I have to share my boy. There's another bee. We're still at war, guys. I may look like a bright fluorescent flower, but I am a flower of death to you. 
Where'd you go? I will. I will squish you. Yesterday, one of them stung me. And I was forced to declare war on the wasps and the bees. So far, I think I've gotten a few of their soldiers. He's back. Yeah, yeah, you want you want some of this? That scared him away. All you gotta do is just show him dominance. That's the secret. <laughs> I don't know. Diesel, you having fun yet? I wanna give you a good chance to stretch your legs here for a second, okay? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? There he is. There's the way to. I'm fast, man. You, just, you don't even know how fast I am. You don't even see me anymore. Fast, man. Oh, it's windy. Look at that dust coming at us. The wind is coming from the south. That means that warm weather is probably coming this way. But we're gonna take the same step deck. We're gonna take it back down there and leave it there for them. They're gonna load it up again. And uh, there's a different step deck that our new load is waiting on already. I already saw it there. It's already waiting. Diesel, you ready to go? You high? Yo, so fast, man. You see that? Did you see that? No, you didn't get him so fast. All right, buddy. Let's load up. Let's go. Round two, all right? We'll stop on the way back again, too. I'm not going to be so rushed on this second one. We're going to take it a little more easy. I'm not racing anybody this time. I'm not losing twice in one day, okay? It's not losing if you're not racing in the first place. Come on, Diesel. You understand my logic, right? Just wait, wait a second, okay? Just wait. You gotta put your steps up here. With one hand. Okay. Open the door all the way. Okay, bud. Take your fast butt up there. Come on. Oh, oh door's closing. Go on, Diesel, before it closes on you. There you go. Go on. Go on up. Up. Diesel, go up. He's scared because the wind is pushing this door closed here. Okay. Up, up. Diesel, up the steps. Go on. There you go. There you go. Good boy. <laughs> I want you to watch the man. You gotta forgive me. I'm sorry. It's only day two back on the road. No one expects you to remember everything. No one expects you to be perfect. It's okay, you'll get the stairs mastered again. Don't worry. Boy. Want some water? Let me get some water here for you, bud. How about that? Let's get your fancy little rubber made thingamajigger here. Let's get you some fresh bottled water. There you go. Oh, yes, that's the good stuff, man. That's the good stuff. There you go, see? Go on. There you go. Water fit for a kang. Good boy. All right, locked and loaded, Sir Weasel. Round two. Oh, my mirror moved. My mirror moved. You ready to go home, Diesel? You look tired, man. I think I might look tired, too. That was a long day. That was a long day. <laughs> But I liked every second of it because I had my co-pilot with me. I'm coming, bud. I'm coming. I just pulled up the chariot. All right, you guys just wait here. Come on, bud. There you go. 
Ah. My bedtime alarm is going off. It's time to go to bed. And we're still at work, Weasel. What's going on? I think I got everything. You want any more water, man? You want any more water before we go home? There you go. Of course you do. Drink up, buddy. Yeah, that was seriously, a, I set an alarm for my bedtime when I'm at home so that I know when to get ready for bed. So uh, at eight o'clock, or that's when I've decided uh, to set the alarm. When the alarm goes off, I drop whatever I'm doing from watching a movie or from edit editing videos or whatever it is I'm doing, I drop it and I start getting ready for bed. And I go through all the motions and I get into bed as soon as I can. And uh, usually you know, scroll through Facebook or YouTube or tech talk for for a little bit and and then fall asleep and that's that's it for the day tomorrow's another day thanks for hanging out with us today though uh, i'm just gonna quickly get home and pretty much dive straight into bed well i gotta shower first uh i'll shower and then i'm gonna dive straight into bed uh, i'm supposed to be getting ready for bed at home right now already so <laughs> We'll see you guys tomorrow. Don't forget to hit that like button if you did like the video. Do it for the weasel. Do it for him. He appreciates it. And so do I. Hit that subscribe button so you can follow us every day. We'll see you tomorrow.